Greetings to all and welcome back to our presentation. On now, this time we want to do a demo on how to create a page in Oracle Apex, a page that will be able to edit data. What do we mean by edit data? That means to change the values of data or even to delete certain rows of data. So we are going to use our app that we usually use. It's the CMS app. Let's go to the app builder to retrieve our app. There are two apps there. We are going to take the CMS app, is the app that we are working on. And in this app, we are going to create a page now in the first time we created a page here it was to create a course the second time this was to retrieve courses and now we are going to use the interactive grade to edit to update data let's click on interactive grid now we are interactive grid i think we have page two, page three. Now we can use page four. Inside page four, what will be the name? We want to call it, uh, why not edit, edit courses. From there, we know that our database is the student marks database. And which table do we want to edit is the table courses. Now, this is where everything is happening. We want to edit that table. So we must allow editing. So we need to make this screen editing enabled. From there, we are going to the next once we are in the next will be asked what the primary key as usual the primary key is the course id then the page is created now that the, the page has been created you remember we were always having this uh, user friendliness issue where we wanted to say we want to edit courses. So we say editing is courses. And the cramp, we also wanted to delete it so that we do not have a repetition. So we are going to delete. Very, very, very good. What columns are going to appear? If I show the columns, this is the course ID is not available. This is, it will not be visible. This is the course code. And then we can now go to the, the title of the course and then the course level. And finally, the season. I think everything is in order and we will be able to save our page now that we have saved our page we need to go to our menus on the interface using the share components so i'm going back to our application here and when i go to share components i will see in the list the navigation list the navigation menu we will now be able to see as the last item that was entered edit courses and which one is it going to replace which one was empty after edit we had modify yes from the admin before we go to the lecturers so i am going to delete this modify and uh, simply delete it. Now that this modifier is gone, 
I will go to the last item again and make sure that that last item is having the correct parent. Edit. What is the entry for the parent list entry? It should be inside courses. Yes, we know how to create courses. We know how to retrieve courses. So the next one inside this courses should be how to edit courses. And we also want to change the name so that it's simply showing edit. Let us apply the changes. Are the changes being applied? Yes. And from here, I can now simply go back to our app and run it. When we run our app as administrator, we see this menu inside the courses menu. We can create courses, yes. We can retrieve courses, yes. Now we can edit courses. If we want to click on edit, we will see the list of courses is here. Then I can go on any course. There are two selected courses. Let me try to select DB4 is selected. Once DB4 is selected, and I can click on the row actions here. And I can add a row if I want a new row. I can duplicate a row. I can even delete this row. But in my case, I want to edit that row. So I'm going to click on edit. So what do I want to edit? Let's say I'm going to say it's a semester one. So I'm going to click on semester and then I'm going to say semester one. Once I've made my changes, I can go to save. Save the changes have been saved. And you can now see DB4 is a semester one course. If I want to go back to my listing, of the courses, retrieving all the courses, and you'll see database for it appears as a semester one course. The change has been made. I can go back as an admin to my courses, and if I want to edit any other courses, here you could now see, here I can, in addition to editing i can also add courses if i'm here i can click on the row actions and add a new row and everything or delete a row i think we have achieved the purpose of this presentation which was to show how to create a page that will be able to edit data adding new rows, deleting existing rows, or updating existing rows. In the next video, we'll show you how to edit something only for the user who is currently connected, in a way that this user will not be able to edit anything from other users. We thank you.